guys, this is Tony with the GNU Guy. Today we're going to install a Paraguard Kill Guard on my GNU. I purchased it off of Amazon for $40. So right now I'm going to show you how I prep and install the Kill Guard on my GNU. So first of all, I decided to do a Kill Guard because I like to uh, beach my GNU uh, before I load it up or beach it in different locations and I started noticing that I started getting some wear through the fiberglass. It hadn't quite made it all the way through, but it started to scratch it up pretty bad. So I decided to put, um, purchase a kill guard for it, and uh, I was looking at kayak kill guards for this, for my canoe. So I also purchased a heat gun from Amazon for $20 also used a Simple Green all-purpose cleaner just to get it nice and clean. I used a, uh, a, instead of having a scour pad, I had a Brillo pad, so I used that. And they gave you some little alcohol pads, but it wasn't enough, so I'm using just a big bottle of alcohol and a towel. So I take the Brillo pad and I scuff it up, uh, the area that I'm going to put the keel guard. I mark the keel guard with a marker so I kind of know exactly where I'm going to scuff up. I lay the keel guard in the sun just to warm it up and kind of get all the, uh, from being all wrinkled up in the packaging. So I take it in the sun and kind of let it, kind of let it flatten out a little bit. Then I take some rubbing alcohol on a towel and I clean the area with the rubbing alcohol to make sure there's no shiny areas uh, so that that tape on the back of that adhesive on the keel guard will stick to it without any issues. I take the heat gun and I heat up the area that I, I want to put the kill guard down. And then I start to take the kill guard, peel up the blue portion of it back and start to stick the kill guard down. And I do it at little small increments, probably every few inches and then push it down before I take the full blue backing of it off. Once I have it stuck to the actual bottom of the boat, I take the heat gun, especially the curvy areas. The curvy areas, you need the heat gun to push it down to keep the kind of the wrinkles out. Um, just be really careful that you don't put the heat gun too close or warm it up too much because there was a small area that I did that and it caused it to be a little bit rough right there. So we'll see how this keel guard holds up. I will uh, take it out and several trips, and then I'll do a follow-up review later on to see how this keel guard um, holds up to beaching it in certain areas. Uh, I believe it should do pretty good. It was $40, so let's say it lasts a year. You can always do it over again.